Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up your drum module for triggering your drums in church or in a live setting. So this is part two. Um, if you haven't seen part one where I talked through the pieces of equipment we're using and how to set them up on your kit, go and watch that and then come back. Um, I'm gonna have that linked in the description below. Also, before I jump into this, I wanna say thank you to Sweetwater for sending these units out, the TM1 and the TM6 we're gonna be talking about and for sponsoring this video. Um, Sweetwater has everything that I am using in this video and I've got all of those things linked in the description below. So make sure to check that out. If you wanna support my channel, you can use the links below. No additional cost to you, but does support me. So um, let's dive into how I have this set up specifically to um, create this. So uh, as far as these inputs, um, I've got um, uh, headphones out where I can monitor what I'm listening to. Um, I have the uh, output going just to my iPhone to record the sample sounds. And then I've got the two triggers. Um, I just have uh, the mesh head trigger and then the BT1 trigger right there. And then I've got the USB connected to my iPad. So this is the TM1. So again, this is a two trigger module that is set up as like a foot switch. And so we're gonna talk about what I would load into this. And I'm only gonna use sounds that we find in the module or on the app uh, for this video, but you can import um, your own sounds. We're gonna talk about how you do this as well. So let's jump into how I would uh, set this up. So first of all, you need to download the TM1 app. You can do this uh, on your iPad, your phone, uh, mul multiple versions, Android. Um, it also has a desktop app that you can use, but I have it on my iPad. So when I connect this, it immediately pulls up. So the first thing I see is kit number one, which I've already renamed this, um, but I can click here and rename this to, um, I renamed it to Thick from Rock. Um, I think it was just Rock. So I've got two triggers, so trigger number one and trigger number two. So the first one I have for this setup, I just have like, I wanted a deep um, just kit setup. So I have kick and snare if I'm triggering that. So we've got the rock kick and then the snare. Okay, and so I, I changed the uh, second trigger to fat snare. So if I wanted to um, change uh, what trigger it is, I'm gonna select this little folder here. I'm gonna open from, and this is gonna pick up all the stuff they have built in here. So I went to snare, and then I think I picked fat snare. Uh, I'm trying to think where it is. Okay, no, this is on the uh, preloaded kits. I went down to fat, and then I chose fat snare, and I did open. Then I hit that right there, and this is gonna load this into this the kit. So there we go. Um, so I've got that. Basically, I kick, snare, those are loaded. Now on here, I can um, change the gain level, uh, the sample gain level on the app. I can um, do a couple things. Um, well, I've got the idea of one shot mono, one shot poly, gate or loop. So you can select how the sample behaves. I'm just gonna leave it on um, one shot poly. Now dynamics, um, what I have it set to is uh, loud. So you have um, linear, which is just kind of how it picks up, so it's linear. I think loud is gonna do, um, it's gonna have a sharper attack. And then if you want something that just is gonna be the exact same uh, volume, no matter how hard you hit it, you can just hit max and it'll play the same level no matter how sensitive it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on uh, loud one. And then here, you see down here, this I have knob pitch decay and level. It says to edit pitch decay and level parameters for each kit, go to setup, then settings, and then do knob settings to individual. So. I'm gonna hop over to the module to show you what that is referencing. So over here on the module, you see for trigger one and trigger two, if I hit those, it'll light up. Trigger one, trigger two. So here I see that I have sensitivity, uh, I have pitch, I have decay and level. Now this is set to universal. So if I switch to the next kit, whatever I have the set to will apply to that kit as well. So say uh, snare. I wanna um, bring, I have the pitch down a little bit if I wanna bring that up. Right, changes it. Now I wanted something a little fatter, so I took, this is the, the pitch that the sample comes at. So I wanted to bring it down just a little bit. Right there, okay, now decay. It's already a pretty dead sample. But I can take that decay down, obviously to nothing, which to me doesn't sound good. So I'm gonna leave that decay up really, really high. Okay, and then I have level. Now, if I want to set the decay um, or the pitch uh, for each sample individually, then I'm gonna go back to the app and basically not use the, um, you know, the onboard button. So I'm gonna do that because, say the next kit, if I wanna use two kits in one setting, I don't want this pitch shifted down to apply to my other sample. So I'm gonna go to setup on the app. 
I'm going to go to uh, System, and then I have Knob Setting Global. I'm going to change that to Individual. Now I want to go to Edit. Now I can edit that here, and now I can do Knob Pitch uh, for this. I can set it. Oh, that's Trigger 1. Sorry. Let me go to Trigger 2. Now, you see, if I change it on the knob, it's going to change it on the app, but on the knob, I can go down, okay? So, that way I can set that up. So, for instance, what I have here on kit number one is just, I'm going to say like a thick, uh, you know, kick and snare. So, if I want to switch over to kit number two, I can click on the unit itself or I can tab over. So, I have this set to percussion one. So, what I have here is... I have um, a metal kick, so this is just kick, and then instead of snare, I've got a chime. Okay, so I just loaded that sample in. So say if I wanted to change that kick to a snare, um, and I wanted to chime and snare for this one, um, then I could just open this, go into sample, and I'm gonna say snare, and let's say this snare, and then load that. Gonna just take just a second, load that sample in. There's my chime. And there's my snare. Okay? So, um, but again, for this, my idea with this is that I wanted to um, have like, if I, in one service, say if I wanted to do just kick and snare to make my kit sound a little beefier, I could do that. And then if I wanted to switch over and instead of using a snare sample, I wanted to add a chime um, to that. Um, now I may have to switch out the trigger inputs, um, but that would be uh, an option as well. So I'm going to go back to kick and just load another kick in. So that is how I would set up the TM1. And so then using the module, all I have to do basically, after I got it set on the iPad, then live, if I wanted to switch, I could switch between the two. Now, if say if I want to use, uh, let's say if I just, all I want to do is on a contemporary song or a song that you know calls for a deeper kick and snare, I want to use that, and then for the other one, I don't want to use it at all. If I hit both of these, then that's going to light up, and that's going to mute it. So uh, with my foot, I can obviously you know, hit both of them at once with my foot. So I could be playing a song with those samples included, and then I could tap that, uh, and that would mute the trigger, and then it would just be the live kit. So that is how I would set up the TM1 using the built-in uh, samples. And again, there's multiple more kits on here. Um, there's a lot more things that you can do with this. this is, you can load your own samples in here um, using this folder feature as well. And uh, it's really, really simple, but you can see you can set this up really quickly to add some great things to your kit um, in a hybrid setup. So let's now talk about the TM6, which is a little more in-depth and can uh, use more options to add some hybrid sounds to your kit. Okay, so now we're going to talk about setting up the TM6 Pro. And let me preface this by saying that there is so much more to this module than I'm going to talk about, um, and it can do so much more than I'm going to explain and describe, but really I want to focus on how I would set this up using this um, you know, live or in a church setting. Um, so what I'm going to do, again, I talked about the different ways you could use a hybrid setup um, in the previous video, but for this one I'm really going to talk about layering uh, samples on top of my kit. Um, so. First of all, let's just get into this. Um, I have um, input a uh, sample for the kick and snare that I like. Um, so what I've done is I loaded the sample onto an SD card. So a couple things about the samples to load them onto an SD card. Your SD card has to be 32 gig um, max. They have to be at 44.1 uh, sample rate and they have to be WAV files, okay? So WAV files, 32 gig card max and 44.1 sample rate. So I've got that loaded in. So let's say um, I've got kick, okay? So if I want to load this, I'm going to do user sample. I've already got my SD card in. I'm going to do import, and then it's going to go ahead and pull up all the samples that I have loaded. So I would just put um, select and then import all. So I would import all those. And then when I go to, uh, if I page out of this, if I'm going to select uh, menu and then instrument to select the instrument I want to use, it's already pulled up but I could just page through all of these different samples. Um, so that's the one I'm going to use is this every day. Okay, so that's the kick. Snare, um, same thing. I've just loaded in a snare. And then toms, I'm using um, 
built-in toms from the kit, a 10, 12, and 16. Uh, maple toms, and then I'm using uh, for the BT-1 a clap, just an 808 clap. So again, what I've got is trigger on snare, trigger on all three toms, trigger on the kick, and then the BT-1 as my auxiliary. So I've got everything kind of all the, the acoustic drums doubled up, and then um, I've got my trigger added. So the snare, let's talk about some of the other features that are going to be on this. So now that I've selected the samples I want to use, now there's a couple things I'm going to do. So for the snare, this sample was a little bit lower in pitch. I actually wanted to match my snare sample pretty close. So what I did, if I hit the snare, I'm going to load up that setting, and then I just uh, pitch shifted it up. So let me take it back down to where it was. Okay, so this is what this uh, sounds like, this snare sound sample by itself. Okay, now layered. Okay, so I wanted to bring it up a little bit. So I brought it up. Okay, to about there, which is what felt good to me. So then the other thing, you have other settings you can use on here, like uh, the decay. On all the toms, I brought the decay of them down a little bit from all the way up. Okay, um, so I brought the decay down. And then here, this button here, I can switch between these two different settings. So if I go from, um, if I click that, it's going to go from volume, pitch, and decay to transient attack, transient release. And so that's kind of like, how hard you want the, uh, the sample to attack. So for instance, let's uh, use one of the toms. If I bring the transient attack up, it's gonna get a lot of that like stick almost, right? It's gonna be really, really forward versus if I bring the transient attack down, it's gonna be more in the background. So that matters only if you want to kind of add some body to your tom or if you wanna really add some attack, you can mess with the transients as well. So then the other uh, really key thing is dialing in the sensitivity. Um, so. Uh, oh, actually, before sensitivity, we actually have to make sure that we're using the correct triggers. So I have to tell the module what trigger I'm using and what input. Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so if I just go to trigger and then bank, so I have to go through number one. I'm telling it I've got the RT30K. Okay, so it, I have to tell it each one I'm using. So uh, number two is my snare, so that's the RT30H. Um, and then on the third trigger is the BT1. So I have to go through, make sure that I have the corresponding trigger selected for the correct input so it knows how to interpret the signal. Okay, so then if I go to uh, parameters, that is where I can um, talk about sensitivity, threshold, when to pick up, and the sensitivity. So for the snare, right, I've got the sensitivity on six and the threshold on six. So uh, threshold's pretty low because I want it to pick up low, um, you know, more like the lower transient sounds, ghost notes even. And then the curve I have is just linear setup for that. So you can really get in there and mess with that. The best way I would say is just play for a long time messing with those settings, the threshold and sensitivity. But that's how you really dial in to make sure you're not getting doubling on those sounds um, and uh, make sure that that's good. So that's kind of really the kind of intro to how I would set this kit up. Again, it's picking my samples, whether I pick from samples that are built in or I import the samples as I told you, then it's kind of, you know, um, selecting sensitivity, making sure the triggers are using the correct ones, uh, and then pitch and decay. Um, and so again, for me, that gets my kit set up to layer on top of the kit that I'm currently using. And that's how I would use the Roland TM6 over a live uh, setup to create a great hybrid drum sound. Now, um, the last thing I didn't talk about um, is output. So I can send stereo output. So I would be sending this stereo out now there are direct outs on this module, but I'm thinking for a live setting, your sound guy, your board, your front of house board probably doesn't have the room to do a full kit miking and then a full trigger setup as well. Now you can also do USB, uh, USB out, so you can MIDI this into a DAW, you could MIDI all of these, or you can do the direct outs, or you can do the master out. So there's a lot of ways to get this, but in a live setting, I would probably do the stereo out and then um, I would set the uh, levels on the module itself. Um, now that would limit your sound guy a little bit, but you could get those tones dialed in as well. So anyways, that is a look at both the TM1 and the TM6 Pro and how I would set those up for a live setting. I'm gonna be doing some covers using these um, so that you can hear how I would use them in a setting and how they sound in a setting. So once again, I just wanna remind you that all of this stuff is linked in the description of this video. Thank you so much to Sweetwater for sending this stuff out and for sponsoring this video. Um, and if you wanna support my channel and what I'm doing, use the links below. If you want to 
uh, take the link, just the main Sweetwater link that I've got. You can copy that and paste it somewhere when you're gonna go shop at Sweetwater. Click that link to get onto the site and then go where you need to go. Um, so when you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it lets them know, hey, Daniel's the one that sent me here. And so that would help me out on my channel a lot. So again, use those Sweetwater links. I love Sweetwater. They're quick, they're knowledgeable. If you wanna give them a call, they actually help me walk through the best practices and what I would use and how I would set this up down to the uh, correct symbol stand that I want to use um, and all the triggers and everything so check that stuff out and uh, comment and let me know what do you think about hybrid drums would you ever trigger uh, drums on your kid at your church or on a live gig and what would you use would it be something different than this would it be this I um, would love to know your opinions or your expertise if you currently play a hybrid setup I would love to hear about that also make sure to subscribe to this uh, channel uh, and also just comment and say what's up. I'd love to talk to you in the comments below. Give it a like and share it with someone that you think would find it beneficial. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.